Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Recently on my channel, I did a review on this $450 HP gaming laptop that I picked up in an early Black Friday deal from Walmart. In that video, I tested out a lot of stuff. We went over the specs of the unit, took a look at the build quality, tested out the temperatures, we tested a bunch of PC games, 4K and 5K video playback, ran some benchmarks. But one thing you didn't see tested in that video was emulation, and that's because I was saving it for this dedicated video. Now we're gonna test out a ton of stuff. Dreamcast, PSP, Sega Saturn, 3DS, PS3, Wii, GameCube, Wii U, and see how this inexpensive gaming laptop can handle emulation, because after all, that first video I made, I tested out 10 PC games, and I was really, really impressed with the performance, given that I only paid 450 US dollars for this laptop. Now, as of making this video, the laptop is sold out on Walmart's website. I think they just kind of have it on pause right now, because the listing is still there for 449 and they have a button you can click to get in stock alert. So if you're interested in picking something like this up, I would definitely keep an eye on the website. So before we get into emulation, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on the basic specs. If you're interested in learning more about this laptop or seeing how it performs with PC games and benchmarks, I will leave a link to that first video I created in the description. So for the CPU, we have the quad core i5 9300H, eight threads, base clock of 2.4, boost up to 4.1. 8 gigs of DDR4 at 2666. There is another DIMM in here, so you can easily upgrade the RAM. It comes with a pre-installed 256 gigabyte NVMe drive that can also be upgraded. Plus, there's a spot for a 2.5 inch drive in the unit and the cables there ready to go. It's got the built-in Intel UHD 630 graphics and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. This is a 4GB model with GDDR5 RAM. Now with all the emulation you're going to see running in this video, it will be relying on that GTX 1650, but for the lower end stuff, you can actually switch that off and just use the built-in UHD 630 graphics and save some power there if you're on the go. This will be able to run Dreamcast with those 630 graphics. It'll even be able to do Dolphin, but not upscale as high as you're going to see in this video. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first up, we have Dreamcast using the Redream emulator, and I am upscaled to 3200 by 2400. Here we have Crazy Taxi 2. And with each one of these games you're going to see running in this video, I will have Afterburner up in the top left hand corner. This is going to give us all the information we need to know about this laptop, and I've even added the FPS. And as you can see here, we have Crazy Taxi 2 running at 60 FPS at 3200 by 2400. So Dreamcast on this machine is going to be a non-issue. I got one more here for Dreamcast, and then we'll move over to PSP. So here's PSP using PPSSPP, I'm using the Vulcan back end, and I'm able to upscale one of the harder games to run, which is Midnight Club 3, up to 5x resolution with no issues whatsoever. And the same goes for Liberation. We're at 5x here at a constant 60, and these are the only two games that I really need to test with this system because these, in my opinion and experience, are the hardest ones to run. So it kind of goes like this. As long as the game is compatible with the PPSSPP emulator, this will run it at full speed. Next on the list, we have Sega Saturn using RetroArch with the Beetle Core. Now, I usually have to resort to using Yobase and Shiro because I test out a lot of low-end devices on my channel. But with this i5-9300H in this laptop, it handles the Beetle Core just fine. Taking it up a notch to GameCube and Wii using the Dolphin emulator, and with each Wii and GameCube game that you're going to see running in this video, I'm using the Vulcan back end, and it's upscaled to 4K. This laptop is an absolute beast when it comes to GameCube and Wii emulation. And as for the great performance, it does have a lot to do with the GPU and the CPU, but I think we're leaning more towards that CPU performance. As you can see, we're pegged out at 4 GHz here, and I did test some harder to run games. This just works absolutely amazing with the Dolphin emulator. 
Now going into this, I knew we were going to get pretty good performance out of Dolphin with this laptop, but I wasn't expecting it to do 4K, especially with Rogue Squadron here, or even the next one you're going to see, F-Zero GX. After this game, we're going to move over to Wii, and when it comes to Wii performance on this laptop, we basically have the same thing here. 4K, Vulcan back in, it's going to handle it just fine. Once we're done with the next two Wii games, we'll move over to PS2. Moving over to PS2, and just like the Dolphin emulator, it runs like a dream on this laptop. Here's PC SX2, we're at 1080p, and to tell you the truth, I didn't even try to upscale anymore. If you're familiar with the PC SX2 emulator, you know that in the settings there's a little slider you can change. I set it to balanced for all the games that I'm testing, and I'm using the OpenGL back in. Got a few more to run through here, but I can tell you right now that PS2 runs really well on this laptop. I also wanted to test out some 3DS emulation, so here we have Citra at 3x resolution, and with that i5-9300H at 4GHz, as you can see with Afterburner, paired with that GTX 1650, you're not going to have any issue with 3DS. As long as the game is compatible with the Citra emulator, it's going to run it. I also went through and tested a few PS3 games using RPCS3. Here we have Tekken 6, and as you can see, it looks great and it's running just fine. We're at 60 FPS. Now there are some PS3 games that I'm sure are going to struggle on this system, but I did test one of the harder ones to run. By the end of this, you'll see Skate 3 running, and while it's not perfect, it's really, really close.
And finally, at least for this video, we have SimU running Breath of the Wild. Every once in a while you will see a dip down and that's my shaders compiling. If you look close enough behind my overlay in the top left hand corner, when it's stuttering you'll notice that it says compiling shaders and that's really what it comes down to with this one. This is using the Vulkan backend and I gotta give the developers of this emulator props. I mean they have done an amazing job implementing Vulkan. It's starting to run on a lot of systems at full speed. So overall, I think this laptop does an amazing job with emulation, and when it comes to the price point here, it's really hard to beat for PC gaming also. This is definitely one to keep an eye on, and in my opinion, this is the best laptop deal that I've ever come across. So if you're in the market for an entry-level gaming laptop, this is definitely one to take a look at. Now if you want to see how this thing performs with PC games, I have that full video, link for that is in the description, and if there's anything else you want to see running on this, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.